Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Thursday, the 12th of March. Oh, hi, Nancy. <laughs> Here's my skeleton cat. Look at how tiny she is. Yeah, she's she's the old girl. She's 13. So, yeah, the rest of them are all younger and fatter. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a video today. We just had an incident here in uh, Rochester. And uh, it's being um, discussed right now that uh, three teenagers all under the age of 16 uh, took a special needs kid. And uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of Snapchat where they send out one to ten second videos. Well, they had this kid uh, dropping his pants um, and drinking out of the toilet. So I, I, I think the, the child had to be retarded. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and just to, you know, really dehumanize this person. And I just, what I have a real issue with, and even as a, you know, when I was younger, I, I always had a tendency towards, uh, you know, well, when I say younger, I mean when I was in my 20s. I uh, always defended anybody that was weaker and smaller being picked on by anybody that was bigger and stronger. Because it really, you know, I just... It, it, it's just like, okay, another, I'm going off, my brain's going in seven different directions, I'm sorry. It's just like guys who beat up on women. When a guy beats up on a woman, who's going to win? It's a foregone conclusion, so why would you do it? I mean, both of my ex-wives were really petite women. I mean, um, you know, I think they both weighed about 110 pounds. Well, I'm over 200 pounds. So, you know, why would you ever put your hands on somebody when you know you know that you're going to win anyway it it just doesn't make any sense to me i've never had a woman in my life so you know and it's like to to make them feel that fear and intimidation i just what does that make you a man you know i don't understand it well getting back to the subject of this these freaking kids that are going to go after you know um either retarded kids or um you know uh, autistic kids and and pick and tease on and tease them. I know there was an incident in Florida where they invited the autistic kid to that uh, party, and then that piece of crap kid beat the crap out of him when he wasn't even trying to defend himself. I mean, what does that make you feel like? Are you feel, do you feel like a man because you beat up somebody that's you know mentally weaker and inferior that doesn't have the capacity to to fight back? Number one, and to realize how to fight back. I mean, I'll tell you what. I mean, obviously, as you guys know, I have a son that has autism. I don't care if the kid's 15, 16 years old. If they did something like that to my kid, they're getting their butt kicked. And I mean, I do not care. I don't care if I went to jail. I'm kicking somebody's behind because, you know what, it, you just, there's no reason for it. You know, especially in this day and age, I don't know what's wrong with these freaking kids. And I know a lot of it starts at home and there's no guidance and, um, you know, the parents not teaching them how to be a decent person, but still... I mean, you know, to do st stuff like that to, to kids that can't defend themselves, it really bothers me. It really, really bothers me. I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Oh, and here's the best part about the situation. One of the kids that was involved in this, and, and some of you may remember because it did make national news, um, if you remember the bus monitor up here that uh, was being harassed and bullied by the kids on the bus, one of the three kids is one of those kids as well. So what the hell did that kid learn? He learned nothing. You know what I mean? And he goes right back to acting like a jerk again. I just, you know, we need to weed the garbage out and get it out of the schools so the kids can focus on learning that want to learn. You know? I don't care, you know, get them out of there. They're worthless anyway. When they act like animals, get them out. If, they, if you act like an animal... See you later. You know what I mean? The kids that want to chronically fight and, and bully and, and do those type of things, they don't belong in school. You know? Make them do homeschool. I don't care. I don't Or make just have them drop out. You know, go be a ditch digger. I mean, not, nothing against ditch diggers. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just, I'm using that as an example. I just, you know, get them out of there. They don't deserve to be in a school with the kids that want to learn. You know? It, it really, really bothers me. So, just want to do a quick video on this subject. How do you guys feel about people that are going to pick on weaker, smaller people, especially 
you know, um, your autistic kids, your retarded kids, you know, I, it really, really, really bothers me that they would go ahead and just, you know, do these type of things still. It, it, it baffles me, especially with all the education out there and the anti-bullying stuff. It makes no sense to me. All right? Thanks for listening. Prepper Nurse went out for now.